In this video, I want to show you some of the enhancements currently made to Market Leader and eEdge. While I was in this system lately, I noticed a couple changes. So first thing you might notice is the view for contacts has already been updated a couple months ago, uh, but you'll notice some color changes. Now I'm seeing more things when I have a follow-up due, um, a little alerts next to things, the coloring is a little bit better, so just the overall view has gotten better. But the real change where it really has uh, enhanced is actually under the contact record. So I'm going to click on my own name here. And this is where you're going to see a totally different view. So now when you're inside the contact record, Market Leader has worked on making it more of um, actually similar to what we're building in the command system. So that you have more information and easier access to a lot of things. However, it's totally different, so it does take a little bit of getting used to, and I encourage you to come into the system and explore. So while I'm in here, I'll go ahead and close that little notification. Oop, nope. All right. So while I'm in here, first thing you'll notice on the left is got all the contacts so I can actually start going through my view on the left, which is nice because now I can get easy, easily between contact to contact, which is great. And the ability that my find contact up above is still here, and I don't have to keep going back and forth between the main contact screen and the individual contact screen. So I love that feature. Um, first thing you'll notice is that the contact is got your status is here. So under my name, if I had my picture here or just my initials, I can then change the status here. Um, I'm marked as a buyer or seller. I can also uh, play with that and then I came from a lead source which says lead insert API which must mean it was either an app or something that brought me in or manually uh, imported myself in. Um, there's a cool little uh, new question mark here so if you want to find out more of how to do that that's neat I would click on it and definitely go through there so right work easier with your clients now I give you the summary you can click next and it's going to show you more things here's what's new with you I can show all the things in my timeline or I can click here and see just my reminders, notes, emails, inbox, all in sent. So that's fantastic. And as you see, as I scroll down, I can see everything that's ever been done with my record, which I love. Um, here I've got the property information. So I don't use currently the market leader um, website side. So I don't have myself or my contact set up on the listing side of market leader so there's no favorites or views for me right now um, if you use that feature then you would see those here this tells me eight days ago that I opened an email from myself because this is me uh, so obviously I put myself on campaigns and I encourage you to do as well so that you're familiar with what's being sent out and it's a great way just to even see if what's being sent is accurate um, there's no search area here and then these are the icons now they make it a little bit easier now if I want to make sure I'm in groups. So here's the group I'm already in. Um, I've been playing around with that. I can add searches if I want to use the web searching side and create an auto search from the system. I can do marketing campaigns. So I can come in here. Maybe I'll just do the 12 direct mailer, uh, market insight, right? And hit save. So now that I'll have a little color next to it, it tells me my marketing's turned on. So I love how easy that is. And transactions is new. Um, I haven't fully tried this yet, so it's just going to be a way to actually track what's working. Um, it does not talk to Dotlip or any of those systems as far as I can tell while I've been testing this out. So be sure to play around with that. I'm sure we'll learn more information there. So that's that little section here. And of course, down below, I can see all of my timelines, add reminders if I want to, right from that one little view, and add a note very quickly, which I like. This is a test, 11-29-2018, which it actually gives it a timestamp, so I didn't have to do that. See? There's the timestamp. Perfect. And then up above, now I've got dashboard. Now when I need to edit the details, now there's an actual detailed tab to go to. So there's my birthday, April 5th. Wish me happy birthday. Um, now I've got my contact information right. I can add my social media profiles for that contact. Um, so there's a lot of neat things in here. Definitely come and play with it. I know the command system is coming out, however, we're still a couple months away, so I felt it was important to still show you this update in case you're going into the system or still using it. Um, if I have my properties, I can come in here and increase my marketing opportunities, and then any tra transactions with that person to be able to see that information here. To the right, I can quickly send an email now from that person using the email address. I can call them if I have a built-in dialer or at least hit the uh, um, phone number here inside my system. And then I can set a reminder for meetings, phone calls, tasks, all that information from here as well. If I need to edit something, I just come to edit. Of course, it takes me to details and I can update the information like add a purchase anniversary. 
add job title, category, um, looking in, wants and needs, any details you'd want to add, and then I just hit the Save button. Um, under More, this is where you could do with the new follow-up wizard. So this is a new feature where I can put in what type of follow-up, and I can kind of come through here, take action, and wrap up. So this is kind of new and neat, what type of follow-up. I'll just say um, buying. Next. So oh, I have to find a script for it. I see what it is. So how about open house? There we go, open house visitor. So here's the script, making visits in the market. Click next, take action. This is a way thanks for stopping by my open house. I hope you have a good feel for the property and all it has to offer. Let me know if I can answer any questions. And there's the number to call. And then through wrap up, I can now add an action plan. I can now add a note. What I learned, uh, they are still looking. So it just allows you to be more purposeful through that and take advantage of that through the opportunities. Um, if you're a pro member, you get to be able to send a CMA through here, send listings, refer contact. That's a new feature. Um, so this would allow me to send this as a referral. So that's another way I can send the contact record to them. Um, I've also got in here, um, resend welcome email. I can print this, create a VCF file so that I can download this contact record or I can delete them. So in order to delete your contacts, you're going to have to come into this record to see that. So that's just a preview of what this can do. I'm sure there's a lot more in here I haven't even uncovered yet because this is just a recent update I saw. And since I didn't see any training videos out there, I want to make sure I made this for you guys so that you can see what to do. So I love the fact how you can easily go now between your contacts. So I can come down to Lucy. I can go to Brittany. Right? And you can see how I'm just going between them all, which is nice and easy. Uh, you have to be careful how you click it. You click the blue and it will switch between them very easily. So now I'm able to come in and see what everyone's doing. I can come to the dashboard and see this person opened something for me um, last February, so I haven't sent them anything in a while. And it'd be time to add them to a group, maybe add them on marketing, right? Set a reminder, do something with them. So that's the look at the new contacts dashboard. Again, the main dashboard is the same. What's different is when you actually click on a contact name and go into the record, there's even more things you can do. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a like. Leave me a comment below or any feedback. We'd love to hear from you and follow me on KDB Connect today.